Welcome back to the Creepy Files. Today, as suggested by 88 Ret Sam B, I think that's how you pronounce it, on my Discord, we're covering Found on the Tape, a series of VHS tapes that aren't FNAF related, but if you like the FNAF ones, you'll like these. These videos are pretty old, uploaded in 2011 by a channel with no other content called Found on the Tape. The first video, titled Clip094.mp4, begins with someone filming downward at the ground, and we can see someone standing nearby. Then we see a shot of a tape player going and some people standing in an elevator. Then we see a woman looking at some stair railing and a disturbing and presumably dead face looking down at them. The next tape, titled Clip095.mp4, starts with the person filming the ground and the pair of legs visible. Then we see someone being filmed outside at night, appearing to be near some woods. Then some footage of a house or a building interior, and we see a code wheel. We'll come back to that. Then a very creepy woman with a similar face to the one we saw in the first video. And then we see the person outside again, and the first portion of the video with the person's legs. The final tape, Clip 084, opens with what seems to be fog or smoke in front of the moon. Then we see what appears to be someone walking through a tunnel. Then, a visual of what appears to be a silo of some kind leaking. We see someone with a flashlight crawling through some sort of tunnel, and then we see some more tunnel and a strange triangle, and then a map of an underground vent and tunnel system. Finally, we see a silhouette before the tape ends. So what does this all mean? Well, to fully understand it, we have to decode the code wheel, which luckily other people have done. Once it was decoded, it led people to a download file for a custom Half-Life 2 map. You can see me playing this map in Gmod. This is where the ARG gets interesting. The map starts with you being stuck in a corner, but because I'm playing in Gmod, I can walk freely around. It's a filthy, cluttered room with stains and a skeleton on the floor. Attempts to leave the room through the only door result in a jump scare of the face we see in the first video. Another map was discovered when you email the Found on the Tape channel. An auto-response that has since been deactivated would send you the words I'm stuck and a link to the next map. This one had the player crawling through a dark vent system, ducking away from cave-ins and a charred corpse that would crash the game. You end up finding a long drop in the vents and must fall down it, presumably killing yourself. The next map was emailed to a select few of seemingly random people who had previously emailed found on the tape. This map had you exploring a larger tunnel system, eventually entering an area that looks very similar to the place we see in Tape 3. You stumble across what it looks like the room from the first map, and eventually you have to die in this map as well. Finally, the last map, revealed through binary code, has you exploring vents once again, except this time the system is even more maze-like and large. The vents become littered with bones and bodies until finally you have to run from an earth-shaking monster before dying. Wow, that is a lot, and a very interesting way to tell a story. But what does it mean? The truth may be that we never know, but I do have a couple ideas. You see, that triangle I mentioned in the last video was a code, but it's yet to be solved. So from the information we have, what do I think it means? Well, I have two theories. My first idea is pretty cliche, but it is supported by what we see in the videos. I think that the person behind the camera may really be a man behind the slot. By that, I mean this face we see is the cameraman's victim, and now the guilt of killing is catching up to him. He's stuck in a purgatory of endless tunnels with the face of his victim chasing him. It would explain the creep shots of random people we see, the skeleton in what appears to be a rundown apartment room, and why everything seems so supernatural. He's haunted by guilt, forever tormented in an endless maze where the only way out is death. But that story has been told time and time again. So what's a more unique take? Well, look at the title of these tapes. The last tape is called Clip 084, while the previous two tapes are Clip 094 and 095. This makes me think that canonically, the last tape is actually the first in the timeline. So what does this make me believe? Well, we see this person, the cameraman, entering this tunnel system, presumably the same one we play in the Half-Life maps. The cameraman discovers some underground tunnel system and begins mapping it. Or maybe he's just a worker at some previously dug out location. Either way, he uncovers some sort of monster that begins chasing him through the seemingly endless tunnels. He's trapped, stuck for a long time, and clearly the monster has claimed others before. Maybe we play some of those others who didn't make it out in the Half-Life maps. 
but when the cameraman finally makes it out, he's paranoid and begins filming everything around him. But his paranoia isn't unjust. When he escaped, he unleashed the monster to the outside world. And again, this series is a dead end for now. I could be completely wrong, so let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments. You can also suggest what I should cover next on my Twitter or Instagram. See you all next time. <laughs>